a waddle and Bill Oh, not this guy. It means his hand was in my pocket. You just let him go. I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? She's denying me the chance to get a word in. Oh, no, it's dick as well. Higby has returned. Ah, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Higby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. Just one moment, please. Look what I found. For sure. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. Screw you. Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. I had to get real persuasive with the Jersey Devil down at the Lucky Pond. He told me that the crooked man's door, to wherever it is he hangs his hat, it moves. It's some kind of magic door. Do you Yay, think magic! You'll be able to find the door once it's fixed. That's how Crane did it. That's how we're gonna do it. Excellent work, really. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Um, you can fly. Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Oh yeah? Take a number. Huh. I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? Got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. I found it at the butcher shop, the cut above. It was in Crane's comb. There was a lot of weird magic going on there. It kind of has something to do with it. Other than that, yeah, the person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had some... Ah, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. Well, how would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Uh, yeah. I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Science which he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. If you ask me, you're wrong. Uh. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the crooked man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self reliant, what do you want from the business office out back? Oh, these two are arguing now. I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? Nope. Do you need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? Ah. Uh. Hate making choices like this. Toad, come here. I thought I made myself very clear. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it. <sighs> so chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff. Where's the glamour? Take me seriously, Toad. How many times have I told you to get glamoured up? You know that if you're out of glamour, I gotta send you to the farm. Well, how about your friend the pig, hmm? Is he going to the farm too? Yeah, you thought we didn't know about him, huh? Can't he stays outside, though. For months, at least. You say the same. Oh, fine, fine, I get that. But might I propose a very simple solution? If you give me one more chance and hear me out, I'll see a way for me and me boy to stay. I'm not gonna ask for any more than I need. I just wanna stay. So what do you say? You just give me enough to cover me glamours and we'll all the rest of <sighs> Please, Sheriff. Don't take TJ from the only home he knows. This old glamour rule is oppressive. I've done nothing wrong but look different. I'll no do what I can. Right. Look, I'll try to get you that money and get you another chance, but you have to understand. 
That's not entirely up to me. Oh, thank you, Sharon. I knew I could count on you to make me old again. We get you sorted, and I'll be glamour to the nines, I will. Bluebeard, you want to talk? Now's your chance. Yeah, I'm come on, Bluebeard. I donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not. For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. Don't worry. I did the right thing. Are you sure? Because he left looking pretty happy. Ah. <sighs> Fine. We'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his I, I don't know. I don't know. But when I catch the fucker who did this, I'll find out why. Sheriff, Miss White, I believe the mirror is repaired. Yay! I have to say I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry. I just I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. Good rhyme. Are you really sure you want to see him? You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the crooked man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. How does she know? What the? F what? Just happened. We pointed you in the wrong direction and looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. So, okay, sorry. Let's not do that again, okay? Looks like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the crooked man. Bigby. We don't have a lot of time. <sighs> mirror, mirror. No time to pout. So, how where does, does Crooked Man hang out? Yeah, that works. I don't recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold off. It just moved. The door. It moves. What'd I tell you? Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. This can't okay. be like it was with Tweedledum. I don't care if it gets out of hand. You don't let it come to that. I Relax know that emotions can run high. And you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. <sighs> I'll, I'll catch bring him back bring alive. Him back here. Alive, and we can clean them and cook them together. Good. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. I'm so, ready. I got no other choice. Gothic bridge. One run. One. There we go. Keep the door down. Holy crap. Into the portal I go. Oh. <gasps> it 
It's Tiny Tim. Tim. What the hell are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. Okay. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. What is this place? Or where is it? I know I'm not in Central Park anymore. I'm not sure. I've only ever come in through one of the portals. I don't think you can get in from the actual street. But you can't blame him for wanting to make it hard to find. Yeah, but I found him. I'm so it's up. To bring you right on in. So if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Please don't make this hard on me. Oh, oh fine. Lead on. Forgot about it, like. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard. You shouldn't be here, Tim. This place is dangerous, especially for someone like you. It's not like that. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job. And I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Uh. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. Don't you realize you're not just minding the door? Work for that crooked bastard, your hands get dirty too. It's not so bad. Not so bad? Are you fucking blind, Tim? He's a murderer. So you're telling me you agree with everything Crane does? A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, mm. hold up. I gotta go in with you. Uh. Thanks. Do <laughs> I keep the door in? What did I tell you? Stop laughing at me. Go ahead. You got a job to do. Oh, I'll wait to keep it all right. Sheriff Wolf, sir. Oh, hello, Jer Oh, George is here as well. And Vivian. Oh, I, I a D. And a jersey. Thank you, Tim. I know the sheriff isn't the accommodating sort. Oh, you God. It? You did well. You can go now. Thank you, sir. Oh God! You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. Let's just smoke.